Hi guys, welcome to another video. On today's video, I'm going to go over some common Vietnam scams that you will most likely run into here in Vietnam. Here are the most common Vietnam scams. Number 1. The Cyclo Scam You will typically find these guys in popular tourist areas. The scam works like this. Some guy riding a Cyclo will approach you and ask if you want to ride. After you have agreed on a price, like for example, 50,000 dongs, you will then be whisked off into some unknown area far away from where you were supposed to go near the end of the Cyclo ride. The driver will then demand that you pay him a lot more money, such as 500,000 dong for the trip and will refuse to take you back until you have given him the money. He may also so conveniently take out some booklet with the prices. Now why the hell didn't he do this from the beginning? And if you refuse to pay, he will keep on following you around and harassing you. So how do you avoid getting scammed? Don't agree to go on a ride on an old dirty cyclo from a shady looking guy approaching you off the street for a ride. Most of the cyclos here in Vietnam are run by cheating scammers, so it's best to avoid them altogether. However, if you still want to go on one, make sure you book it with a reputable company. Number 2. Fake Beggar Scam There are several versions of this scam, but the most popular one usually involves a woman cradling a child that has most likely been hit with a tranquilizer and knocked out cold or on some meds to keep them sleeping like a baby all day. Do you ever wonder why the child is always sleeping when in the company of this woman? Well now you know. This woman will then try to gain sympathy by using the child as a prop to get you to give her pity by donating some money to her, and unbeknownst to you, she's most likely going to use that money to get a hit from heroin or some other drugs. So how to avoid getting scammed in this case? Don't give money to people using props, especially drugged up babies or little kids. If you want to donate some money, then go buy some lottery tickets from the thousands of lottery ticket sellers walking around Vietnam. These people are technically like beggars, except they don't carry the label, since they actually sell lottery tickets and also hustle quite hard to make a living. Number 3. The Taxi Scam Taxi scams are quite common all over Vietnam, and there are different versions of it. Here is the most common ones you will encounter here in Vietnam. The Airport Taxi Scam This one involves you being hailed by someone dressed up like a real taxi driver from one of the reputable taxi companies. It's basically Halloween here every day for these guys. You're getting tricked and he's getting a big fat treat. Once you agree to a ride with him, the shady looking dressed up taxi driver will lead you into some dark alleyway where you will start to wonder if you're going to end up hacked into a million pieces or have your organs stolen to be sold on the black market. However, instead, there you will be instructed to get into a taxi that may or may not resemble one from the reputable taxi companies. Once inside, they will switch drivers and then drive off to the toll booth. When you arrive, the driver will gesture for you to hand over some bills to pay for the toll. When you reach for the money, he will quickly try to grab the money from right out of your hands before you could even usher a single word. While looking for the change, the driver will quickly swipe out the larger bills for smaller denominations faster than you can blink an eye. You will then hand it back your money, less the money he stole from you. In the second version of this scam, which is very similar to the first, when you arrive at your destination and attempt to pay, the driver will quickly grab all of your money and then swipe out the larger bills and replace them with smaller bills right before demanding that, that you pay him more because you didn't give him enough money. Since a lot of the Vietnamese currency have similar colors and sizes, it's quite easy to get confused by the different bills, which unfortunately makes it easy for him to scam you. And in version 3, the fake taxis. This one involves you being suckered and getting into a fake taxi, masquerading as one of the few reputable taxi companies here in Vietnam. These taxis have similar names as the reputable ones and few even have carbon copies of the same cars used. What was supposed to be only a few thousand dongs for a short taxi ride soon turns into hundreds of thousands of dollars as the guy has rigged his meter to jump up in fare quite substantially. So how do you avoid getting scammed? Easy. Don't get into any shady looking taxi cabs. Be suspicious of anyone that is trying to solicit taxi services from you at the airport. 
and only take taxi rides from reputable taxi companies such as My Lin Taxi and Venus Sun Taxi. And whatever you do, don't hand over all of your cash for the driver to help you pick out the correct change to pay the toll. Keep your money a safe distance from his prying hands unless you want to have a few bills missing. Number 4. Getting ripped off and overcharged. If you look like a foreigner and speak like one, prepare to get scammed. Especially around the touristy areas like Buntun Market and the Saigon Center in Ho Chi Minh City. It's not uncommon to be paying 2 to 4 times more than what a local would be paying if you're purchasing goods and services if you're not diligent. To give you guys an example, I once had a barber shop try to overcharge me 2 to 3 times more than what a local would pay to get a haircut. They knew I was a foreigner based on my, both my appearance and my Vietnamese and thought they could get away with murder. But unbeknownst to them, I knew what the local rates were in the area because I had previously gotten several haircuts at several different honest joints. For the price they wanted, I could have gotten the royal treatment by some beautiful Vietnamese girl dressed up in a real skimpy outfit giving me shoulder and neck massages while cutting my hair and serving me tea. Clearly the barber was out of his mind and not taking his meds for that day. He saw me in pictured in ATM machine. They thought they could fool me, but in the end, I was the last one laughing as I walked away from their shop with my wallet still intact and they forever lost my business. So how do you avoid getting scammed? Avoid buying things in the touristy areas in Vietnam. If you simply venture off into one or two districts away, you can easily save 50% or more of the asking price. Also, do your research beforehand before buying anything. Try to get a local to help you to buy the items, instead if possible. Most of them usually know what the local going rate is for goods and services. And finally, always ask for the price before buying anything. What you initially thought would only cost you a dollar for a cup of coffee can soon turn into a $15 drink. So make sure you always get the price beforehand. Number 5. The Fruit Pole Picture Taking Scam Ah. Uh, the classic come here and take a picture with me scam. This one involves someone selling fruit, usually coconut, on two baskets between a wooden pole. I know for some of you guys, getting that Instagram or selfie shot is important, but you might want to reconsider. These fruit vendors usually station themselves outside of busy touristy areas. They will then try to hail you over to take some pictures with them and also using the fruit pole in the fruit baskets. After you decide to take a few photos with the fruit pole and straw hat, the fruit seller will then pressure you into buying some fruit. In the case of a coconut, they will very quickly cut it open and hand it to you before you can even get a word in. This is all fine and dandy because fruit is relatively cheap here, at least the local fruits are. However, these people are outright thieves and low lives. You can't expect them to be honest with you. Demanding 100k? And upwards for a simple coconut that could be had for around 15 to 20,000 dong is not unheard of. And if you refuse, well then, prepare to get nagged and haggled into oblivion as they will relentlessly harass you to pay up for the crappy quality fruit that's been hanging out in the sun for hours and ready to give you a serious case of diarrhea explosion in the toilet. How to avoid this scam? Don't go putting poles with fruit baskets around your shoulders when people gesture for you to, especially around popular tourist areas. Always ask for the price first. Don't make eye contact with these people and always appear confident even when you're not. In fact, don't even acknowledge them when they're talking to you. They will leave you alone if you look like the type of person that will bark right back at them. And in the unfortunate situation where you're already in the process of getting scammed and the guy's chopping, cutting up several coconuts in a split second, go and look for a police officer in a green uniform. Forget about the ones wearing beige. They are completely useless unless you want to hand them some coffee and tea money. Number 6. Pickpockets It's unfortunate, but pickpockets thrive here in Vietnam. These scumbag, low-life, degenerate vermin are infested in major touristy areas around Vietnam. And usually they work in packs, with someone distracting you while another pickpockets you right before handing your belongings to his partner in crime. 
I had the unfortunate experience of getting my cell phone pickpocket while out filming in Buivine Street for you guys recently. I had just let my guard down for a split second while trying to get a good shot in and that's when they struck. It's not uncommon to hear stories from expats every single week where they get their wallets, cell phones and valuables stolen by pickpockets. How to avoid getting robbed. Be extra cautious around touristy areas. Place your personal belongings in hard to reach hidden places if possible. Get a money belt if possible. Or you can get one of those travel pouches that you strap on right in front of you. Yes, I know they're ugly and they make you look like someone from the time of the dinosaurs. However, I seriously doubt anyone is going to try and rob you when you have the pouch right in front of you, buckled against your stomach. And lastly, don't carry anything important with you when you're visiting these touristy areas. Number 7. The Card Game Scam This scam works like this. Some stranger, usually a guy, will walk up to you on the street and try to befriend you. He will usually ask you some questions to dig for some info, such as your nationality, who you're here with, etc. Once he thinks he's gained your trust, he will mention that he has a relative, usually a younger sister or mother etc. that is thinking about going to your country and wants to ask you some questions. Usually something along the lines of them wanting to study your country or moving there. He will then invite you over to his house so that you can help his relative with their questions. If you do accept his invite, you will then be led into his house where instead of finding his relative, you will be met with a game of cards. His buddies will then invite you to play the game which involves gambling. At first, they will let you win a little bit to lure you in, but once they know they have you on the hook, that's when they will strike and bleed you dry of your funds. The game is of course rigged and it's not uncommon to hear from victims that they have lost 5, 10 or 20 thousand US dollars. So how do you avoid getting scammed? Did you ever hear the saying, never talk to strangers? Well you should follow this advice. Ignore strangers that try to talk with you on the streets. You never know whether their intentions are good or bad. And definitely don't go home to some random person's house that you just met off the streets. That's just asking for trouble. Once you're at their home, it's too late. You're screwed. Number 8. The Free Food Scam This scam is quite common in northern Vietnam, especially in Hanoi. The scam works like this. Usually some lady will approach you carrying a basket of deep fried donuts, but it could be anything. She will then offer to let you try a piece for free. And if you accept her offer, after you've tried it, she will then pressure you into buying a bag of her donuts. The problem is, she wants an exorbitant amount for them. And if you don't pay up, well then, she'll follow you around the town like a little puppy while harassing you to buy a big bag because you tried one of her donuts for free. And hear this, her donuts aren't even that good. The oil used has probably been reused for over a dozen times already. So how do you avoid getting scammed? If someone offers you something to try, especially off the streets, give them a big no. She may follow you around town like a little puppy, but you just stand your ground and you tell her no and to go take a hike. Now if you do find yourself already in the process of getting scammed because you couldn't help it but consume those delicious looking grease filled artery clogging donuts then go seek a police officer. But remember, once again, only go look for the ones with a green uniform. The beige ones just sit on their ass handing out traffic tickets and collecting coffee money all day. They're not going to be of any help to you. Now you can go try some free samples. But only if it's from a legit store offering free samples like a Highlands coffee or something else. If it's some old lady dressed up to the tees with a mask covering her face and a straw hat, then hell no. Tell her to go off. Number 9. Extra drinks on the tab. If you want to just sit down, relax and enjoy the cold one. Or if you're just an alcoholic, then watch out for this one. There are certain bars around Vietnam that cater to foreign clientele and like to rip them off by adding in extra drinks and charges to people's tabs. And they love to target people that look a bit drunk and tipsy. This is very common practice in a lot of bars in the Bui Vinh area in Ho Chi Minh City. In some cases, some girls that are hired by the bar will come and flirt with you and then order drinks on your tab without your permission. 
How to avoid getting scammed in this situation. Always ask for the price before ordering drinks. Examine your bill carefully. Try to pay immediately rather than keep a tab if possible. And be extra cautious of any girls coming up and flirting with you. She's most likely working for the bar to scam you or could be a full blown hooker ready to give you a case of STDs for the night. And lastly, only go to reputable bars and clubs. And finally, the motorbike phone snatchers scam. This one isn't necessarily a scam per se, but it's definitely a huge problem over here in Vietnam. These low-life scumbags drive around town looking for unsuspecting victims with their phones out. While you're busy doing a live Facebook stream trying to count how many likes you've gotten, they will drive right by you and in an instant, snatch that new iPhone that you just purchased for over a thousand dollars. This typically happens around busy touristy areas, but you're not safe anywhere to be honest. And things don't just stop with phones. Purses, bags, cameras, anything valuable is a prime target for these guys. And if that isn't bad enough that you're getting robbed, these thieves oftentimes have zero regard for the safety of their victims. It's not completely out of the ordinary for victims to get dragged and pulled along when these thieves strike. So how do you avoid getting robbed? Always be alert and on the lookout for suspicious activity. Never take your phone out when you're on the road or riding a motorbike. And if you must take your phone out, go to the far side of the sidewalk, away from the road, and have your back turned so that your phone is not exposed. Don't ever use your phone for an extended period of time. Avoid bringing your handbag to busy touristy areas and keep it close to you and not by your sides where it can be easily snatched. And finally, be extra cautious around touristy areas. Well, this concludes our scams in Vietnam video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I have a link to an article that I wrote with a lot more Vietnam scams in the description below. So be sure to check that one out as well. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye for now.